Boys and girls, it's time for writing. You know Miss Smith loves writing. And so today, I wanna tell you about a way to really make your writing more interesting. And one of the ways that we can add wonderful details is to use our senses. We know about our five senses, our sense of sight and smell and taste and hearing and touch our five senses, but if we add those into our stories, it can make them so much more interesting. So, you know, today it's time for me to start a new story. So I'm gonna look back at my folder of ideas and I showed you these before, remember? I showed you about how I had Thanksgiving with my family and we rolled pumpkins down the hill. I told you about the 4th of July, how we saw fireworks and we had a slip and slide and played Jenga and stuff. I told you about how we went to the Zoolumination and saw those beautiful things lit up there. And then I also told you about Christmas with my family and how we made gingerbread houses and we opened presents and we made cookies. And so remember, I've said, we're not gonna tell about everything in these kind of stories. We're focusing in on one slice of the pie. So I thought today I would choose Christmas. And I'm gonna think back about Christmas and some of the things we did, like I said, we built gingerbread houses. We had a lot of fun opening presents. Miss Smith even made silly presents for everybody to open that were real funny. And, um, but one of the things we did that we have such a fun time with was baking cookies. And so I think I'm gonna choose that as my slice of the pie that I want to tell you about in my story today. So I'm gonna get my paper and get started and we'll start a new story today. Okay, we know when we write a story, we always wanna start with the who and the what. So I'm gonna start my story and say, on Christmas Eve, because we need to know when it happened, on Christmas Eve. Now, I know when it is on Christmas Eve. Who is it? Well, it's my family and I. My family and I. <clears throat> now I know when it is. I know who it is. But what is it? What are we doing? We're going to bake cookies. So on Christmas Eve, my family and I baked cookies. Now, I wanna see if I can use one of my senses to make this more interesting and add more details. I remember how that dough felt in our hands. And that's my sense of touch, isn't it? So I think I'll add the dough was cold and Dicky, because that tells you how it felt, doesn't it? So then I'm gonna work on my picture. So maybe I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw kind of like my island in my kitchen, and it's right here. And here are gonna be some people standing behind the island. So I'll draw a body here. And here's some arms, and I'll draw another body here. Here's some arms, and maybe I'll even put a person over here on the side, because we were standing all around on all the different sides, and we were working on making our cookies. So here's another person on this side. And then I'm gonna draw my cookie tray right here where we're gonna put the cookies. And I'll draw some little balls of dough in front of each person that they're working on. And I'll go back and add some more details like their hair and their eyes and things in just a minute and show you that later. So here you can see where I've gone and I've added their faces and their hair and their clothes and I've colored their lumps of dough that they have and our cookie sheets. And I even did some gray all around because the walls in my kitchen are painted a light gray color. So I wanted you to be able to see all those details of my kitchen there. And so today, think about adding our sense of touch. And we can see that we're touching that dough that was cold and sticky. 
So as you do your writing today, you may be beginning a new story like I was. You may be working on one that you already had going. But think about adding some details in with your senses, something that you saw or you smelled, you tasted, you heard, you touched. Let's use those and add those into our writing to make our writing so much more interesting. Now, does it have to be perfect? No, we know we just do the best we can. Now, before you go off to write, I want you to think about some of our rules for writing. Think about it, say it with me. Every sentence in the whole wide world begins with the capital letter. Every sentence in the whole wide world ends with punctuation. Boop, don't forget it. Also, remember, we need spaces in between each word, okay? So don't forget your capital letters. Don't forget your punctuation. Don't forget your spaces in between your words. And when you go to spell, do the best you can. Stretch it out and write down the sounds that you hear. I can't wait to see your writing today.